Hi guys, welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, we got a little something special for you. So excited. <laughs> okay, so I was just on a call with people from all over the world and um, mostly they were women. And, you know, I've been talking actually, hold on one second before I do that. Okay, yeah, baby. Okay, now we can do it. So I was talking and this is really fascinating. This is, I was studying this a long time ago. Um, hi everybody, welcome as you're joining. Um, and so talking about um, this concept of fight or flight, right? And when I looked at this concept of fight or flight, what was really fascinating to me is back in the day when I was studying shamanism and traveling all over the world and, you know, doing some crazy stuff, um, I got into this idea um, that scientifically and physically, women have more cone cells than men and men have more rod cells than women. And so if you guys want me to talk about that and what that has to do with you and your choices and your decisions and creating your future and your life, I want you to say hello. And if you'd like, please share. Um, let's see, I gotta get this video. There it is. It says I'm live, but I want to see your comments. So yeah, baby, talking about rod cells or cone cells, say what? Yeah, baby. Okay. So if you'd like to share this, please share this video. Please say hi. Let me know you're watching. So here's, I'm going to use the piece of paper as an example. Okay. So yeah. Do you guys want to hear about rod cells versus cone cells? <laughs> Fight or flight? <laughs> okay. So men physically in their body, have more rod cells, right? So men are really good at, and I got this actually from one of my shamanic teachers back in the day. So men have more rod cells. So when they have more rod cells, basically all they can see is the object that they're looking at, right? All they can see is the object they're looking at, fight or flight, okay? Got it? Women, women, have, let's see if I can do this correctly. We're going to try. No promises. <laughs> I got to make a cone shape. Okay. So women, there we go, have more cone cells than rod cells. So you guys notice the huge difference, right? So a woman, when a woman is looking at something, she sees all these possibilities, all these energies, all these awarenesses. I don't really like my lighting, but you guys are just going to have to deal with it, I guess. So all these possibilities. And so a man usually sees the object of what he would like to create. Okay. I'm going to say this. A man usually sees the object of what he would like to create. So men typically don't like talking in the same way women like talking. Like women like, I don't like my lighting. There we go. If I'm a little closer. So women like talking about everything. They're like, blah, 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 right? So they talk about the cone, everything they're aware of, everything they can see, they talk about it to get to the point. So if you guys are liking this, hello, 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 my friends. So if you'd like to share, right? And you want to know how rod cells and cone cells apply to you and your reality, apply to creation and apply to your future, please share, please keep watching. Oh, baby. So women have more cone cells visibly in the cornea of their eyes. And people are like, wait, cone cells? I didn't say that in the beginning. In our eyes, in our cornea. I love you guys, right? <laughs> have more have more cone cells, women do, and men have more rod cells. So women will talk, 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 talk until, until they get to the point, okay? Men only like to talk when they have figured out the point. Okay. So how, what does this, and how does this, hello, Shannon, how does this apply to, to relationship? Well, think about it. If you are, hello, sweet Paula, if you are in relationship with a man 
and he doesn't like to talk and you do and he only likes to talk when he's gotten to the point and he's not willing to talk 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 like you you might go into the wrongness of you the wrongness of him the wrongness of your relationship instead of oh he functions from this i function from that very different realities. Okay. So it's interesting. Women have more cone cells. And so they see a lot more. They have a bigger peripheral vision physically. When women are driving down the road, they see things that men don't always see. Men only see a few things at a time. And men, this isn't a cut on you. Please know, right? I freaking adore you. I think you're amazing. I think like you sometimes. Okay. But it's just the reality of the way that we're were chemically, physically, and scientifically wired. Okay, now some women might have more rod cells, some men might have more cone cells. And so what happens is with women is when women are trying to, and I talked about this on this call, women will want to pick a destination. They'll want to pick like a, like a point where they're looking, right? And they'll, they'll go for like, I want to create a greater future. I want to build a business. I want to get married. I want to find a relationship, whatever it is. And so they'll kind of pick something, but what happens when they pick, right? Is that then they get aware of everything else in their universe, they get aware of everything else in their universe. And so then the vision that they had, the future they want to create, the place they want to go, it gets a little convoluted because they can hear and feel everybody's opinion, everybody's judgments, everybody's like conclusions. And so what happens is women, when they tend to get in that place, go into fight or flight. Do I pick my future or do I stay with my family? Do I leave my job or do I start a new career? Do I stay at home with my family or do I leave the house, right? Women tend to, when they get overwhelmed with too much information and they go into fight or flight, they tend to only see two choices. Men tend to ignore that and see all possibility when they're looking at the vision. Does that make sense? this is making sense to you, give me a thumbs up or a hello or a wave or a comment, right? And so what happens is, is what would it be like if when you're in fight or flight, you could see all possibility, right? This isn't right or wrong. This is just to inform you of the possibilities that you could choose. Yeah, I love it. Mary gives me a thumbs up. Thank you, Mary. I love it. Yeah, baby. Yes, yes, says Alina. Okay, I love it. And so my friends, this is about where are you giving up on your future because you think that it's relevant what other people think? especially women who are listening, it is not relevant what other people think of your choices. It is not relevant what other people want to say or do. Men, right? Paula says, hell yes. Okay. So men are really good at they pick the point, right? They're like, I know where I'm going, right? I know where I'm going. So they pick the point and they notice they block out any opinions, anybody's judgments, because all they can see is the future they want to create. Women, because of their, let's see if I can make a good cone again. <laughs> Here's your woman cone, right? Women, they're looking, but they can perceive everything and everyone else. And actually, it's probably more like, it's not a very good cone. Anyway, it's, it's, like they can perceive and feel everybody else's opinion. And here's the mistake that I think women make is they think it's relevant what other people think. They want to make sure that they're not crazy or that they're not making things up. I wish my lighting, oops, was a little bit better on this. Okay. There you go. So they think that they're making stuff up and here's the deal, my friends. 
Here's the deal. Nobody else's opinion matters about what you want to create in the world. All right. Nobody else's opinion matters about what you want to create in the world. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Almost just dropped. Oh, God. Multitasking. Too many things at once right? That's a woman thing. Like, so women can multitask, right? Better than men can. Why? Because they have this, right? The cone cells and the rod cells. Women can multitask far better than men can. Uh-huh. But here's where women get into trouble is they think it's relevant what everybody else thinks. They think it's relevant because they, most of us, we get an idea and the idea sounds crazy or maybe it is crazy. And then we want to make sure that other people are on board with our ideas when actually, boop, 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 they are not. <laughs> Shannon says, amen. Okay. So my friends, here is your task. Here is your task which is awesome. Alina, I love it. We'll put it in. <laughs> I'll put it in in just a second. So here is your task is what you need to do as a woman. If you have an idea and you're like, this sounds crazy. It's never been done before. I don't even know if it's possible. I don't know how to get there is instead of worrying about what everyone else thinks, instead of asking other people's opinions, all that it matters is that you hang on to what you know is possible. And so you're going to ask, what's the quickest, fastest, easiest way to institute that as my reality? Here's the question. What's the quickest, fastest, easiest way to institute that as, as my reality? And who can help me get there quick? So Here's another thing is they don't need to align and agree with your idea. They just need to support you, right? And you feel supported. And so it isn't about getting them to align and agree with you. It's about going where you want to go regardless and then not giving up on your awareness. So there's so much I could say about this, this topic kind of like, obviously I get really excited about it because what I see so many times when, when things don't go the way that women want them to go, women tend to go, I'm out of here, right? Fight or flight, stay or go, leave or stay, right? And yet so often, I think that's a huge mistake. So you sit and you go, what energy do I need to choose to create a different possibility? What energy do I need to choose to, to have something different show up, to change this situation right away? Okay. So women, when you notice when you're in fight or flight and you notice you're in either this choice or or that choice, when you are making that as your reality, you're literally taking you and all the choices you have out of the equation. You're making what other people think, or you're making the pain, or you're making the suffering more real than the choice. And so what you want to ask is, how many choices do I have right now that I'm not acknowledging? How many choices do I have right now that I'm not acknowledging? Okay. And that's how you can do it. So that's kind of all I have. It was a quickie, a shorty. Um, for those of you that don't know and that I haven't told, so I'm starting a challenge tomorrow. The doors to the challenge close tonight at, at midnight Mountain Standard Time. So those of you that are in Central European Time at 7.59 a.m. Central European Time. Um, and it's, it's a 15-day challenge to get you to start to see you differently to get you to get rid of the judgments that you think are real in regards to your body, in regards to what you think you look like, in regards to what you think you can create on the planet. And I'm giving away over $3,000 worth of bonuses and values. And the challenge is only $97 because here's what I know. When you change the way you see yourself, and I'll pop the link right now in here, right? When you change the way you see yourself, 
And uh, Alina, let's see. Ah, Paula says I'm in and excited for it. Me too, darling. Oh, cool. Lindsay just popped it in. Thank you, sweet Lindsay. Awesome. So what I would invite you guys to look at is what is truly possible with you and your reality that you've never considered? And what if seeing all possibilities was, was, was a gift and a capacity? But here's the thing is you don't need to open yourself up to other people's judgments. If people want to judge you, that is not relevant to what you can create in your future. Well, do what men do. They ignore it. They go anyway, right? And so awesome. So my friends, this is your challenge this week, which is to go anyway. And I'll be hopping on here live every day. The target is around noon at noon, Mountain Standard Time, every day and popping in with a little tidbit, a little gift, a little something um, that's not the challenge. It's something totally different. But if you want like hardcore total change and transformation and you are ready for a different reality with you, with your body, with your relationships and with the way you see yourself, highly recommend join the, joining the challenge. It's called Ditch the Judgments. The link is in the chat. When I get done with this live, we'll post it just in case. But I wanted to just talk about these rod cells and these cone cells because I know, what the heck? We never knew this, right? right? And yet imagine, so if you guys want to share this, please share it with someone you may know that contribute, right? Especially women right now who are feeling depressed, feeling a little anxiety ridden, feeling like they're overwhelmed. Well, they're overwhelmed because women have a wider filter in which they receive their awareness. Okay. And so this challenge is going to invite you into a different possibility. Men have this capacity to ignore other energies and focus on where they want to go, focus on what they desire. So if this would be like for you, please feel free to share it, share it with somebody, you know, share it on a page, say, Hey, I'm joining the challenge or, Oh my God, this is such cool information about men and women and fight or flight. I'm going to be talking more about information because I, I forget <laughs> I live in my own bubble. I've been creating a lot in my universe. And, you know, it, I think it's so important for us to have these conversations to invite in a different possibility, a different awareness and a different knowing. So my friends, if this conversation um, spoke to you and you can recognize you in some of the things I'm saying, right? It's about honing your craft. So please like, please share, please say hi, please comment in the link below how this conversation contributed to you or an aha that you're having. And um, I can't wait to see you on the next round or the next one. Please feel free to invite people to like the page, right? We're just getting started. So I adore you guys. And um, what magic can you create if you saw that all possibilities were available. So that's all I got from my corner of the world, Aspen, Colorado, to your corner of the world. I hope this finds you well, and we'll see you on the other side. Bye for now, and thanks for watching.